Gia Pet Hasselhoff. Yeah, very slim pickings once again over in the movie section. I did find Coming to America on Blu-ray, which I have it on 4K, but I don't have it on Blu-ray, and the 4K set that I do have does not have the Blu-ray with it. I think this came from the $7 bin, so I might pick this up. Might also double dip on Knives Out with this nice little slip cover. This, I have Clueless on Blu-ray. I don't know if I have Mean Girls on Blu-ray, but I know I She's the Man just came out on Blu-ray, so that might be something I might pick up. All three of the MonsterVerse movies getting ready for Godzilla vs. Kong. And then the Mad Max set, so most of these are just going to be double dipping, so we'll see what I do here. And just like that, we're home. Uh, I know I didn't get a whole lot of footage, but Walmart was pretty busy. I had no idea that on a Saturday night, Walmart would be as busy as it was, but lo and behold, I mean, it was pretty packed in there. Like, I had a lot of trouble getting footage because there were people in the aisles wherever I went, and only the few places that you saw, I had a free space to actually show you what I found in there. Uh, I did pick up some things, mostly double dipping on stuff. I didn't buy a whole lot of things that I really needed, but they were double dipping things, and knowing that how that Walmart continuously swaps out different things, I figure I might as well get it now because I don't know if it's going to be there the next time I go in there because there were some things in there that were not there before. Like the the section of face masks that I showed the last time I went to Walmart is no longer there. They moved, they moved it into a different section altogether and there's not as many as they were before, that kind of stuff. So I will show you what I got today, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow, Sunday, because... I'm going to go out tomorrow. I don't know where I'm going yet. I thought, I, we were go I thought we were going to go to South Hills Village because the Disney store down there, which is the only one around the Pittsburgh area, is closing next week sometime, or the week after that. I think it's on March 23rd. But then that's not happening. We th I thought we were going to West Bowl in the Mall tomorrow, which I was there earlier today. Maybe go to the casino. I don't know if that's happening or not. And now there's... A possibility I might be going to the Waterworks tomorrow, which I already went to, and I showed you guys in the video before. I'll put a link to that right up there. And, um, I don't know where we're going tomorrow, but we're going somewhere tomorrow, and when I sh know what it is, I will show you what it is. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, which, for, you, for the viewers out there, it'll be in about five seconds. Alright, so we're back here at Waterworks. Um... I'm on the other side, because I haven't been to the other side of the waterworks before. I showed you the first side before. So, we're going to see what's on the other side. And I'm going to go get something to eat first, because Five Guys is right around the corner here. It's been so long since I've had a Five Guys burger. So long. I love it. My favorite burger place, Five Guys. Used to have a Five Guys about five minutes where I live, but they tore that down for Chipotle. So anytime I can get a Five Guys burger... I take the chance on it, so I'm pretty good right now. So let's go ahead and see what's on this other side here. I'm going to go into Staples first, and then there's a Party City right next door, so we'll see what they have. Why is it so quiet in here? Yeah, that was really weird. Like, it was unusually quiet in there. Like, there was no music. There was hardly anybody in there. I thought I walked in while they were doing, like, inventory or something, but they would have a sign out in front, I would think, but they had some stuff in there. They had some pop figures that I might, might be interested in, but they were kind of badly, da they were kind of damaged a little bit, but I don't know. I might come back there for that, but let's go ahead and see what else is down here. So other than a GameStop that I found over there, that's pretty much it. I mean, they said there was not was not that much on this side of the store, this side of the mall complex, and I guess they're kind of right, because I'm literally standing right in front of Walmart right now, so... I don't know, let's go to Walmart, see if they got anything in there. It'll be my second Walmart in two days. Like I said, not a very big Walmart. A lot of the same stuff they have last night at my Walmart.
right, we're coming close to the Mike kind of territory because there's Barnes and Noble and there's Market District right there. So we'll head over towards there. But first, TJ Maxx has got to be over here somewhere because I remember that from the last time I was here. Beautiful day out. Okay, TJ Maxx is all the way down there. I was thinking of Marshalls first, so it's right here. So let's go on into the Marshalls. So we're coming down to the home stretch here. Before we go over to TJ Maxx, Barnes & Noble, and Market District, let's head down here because I want to check out the movie theater. Waterworks Cinema. Tom and Jerry and Ryan, the last dragon plane here. If you look inside, you can see posters for James Bond, Wonder Woman, and Peter Rabbit in there. Barnes and Noble is next. Advertising. <laughs> okay, I wasn't finding anything until I found these. Definitely getting this because I think this is out of print. Definitely getting that because I need that and might be getting this one too. Unless I can find it cheaper. Well, I guess it's just going to be this because both Elizabeth Town and Accepted are cheaper on Amazon and they can't price match here. So at least I'm going to get up with it. At least I'm going to walk out with this one. Well, that was a little bit of a disappointment, but you know what? For an out-of-print shop factory Blu-ray, the fact that I got it in there for 28 bucks after my discount, that's more than worth it. Uh, Elizabeth Town and Acceptor were actually cheaper online on Amazon, so I'll just get them off of there. Uh, we're at our last stop of the day, and that's Market District, so let's head on in. And just like that, we're back home. Actually, I've been home for a couple of hours now. There were some other things going on around the house, uh, celebrating some birthdays. And um, I'm going to be real quick on this because I know that today was a pr pretty busy day. Got a lot. Is I actually got a lot more stuff at Waterworks than I thought I was going to get. But before I show you the stuff from Waterworks, I want to show you the stuff I got from Walmart and also some of the stuff that came in the mail this past week. So... I'll show you the one thing I got from eBay this week, which is an Italian steel Blu-ray steelbook, which I know this isn't going to work on any of my players, but I had to have it because this, this these movies aren't even released on Blu-ray here in America. But Hot Shots 1 and 2, this is a really rare steelbook that I found online. It goes for like 200 bucks on a lot of places, but I found it for half that, so 
I picked it up. Maybe someday I'll get a player that actually works on this. And hopefully someday they'll actually put this out on Blu-ray here in America. But Hot Shots 1 and 2, funny movies. I have them on DVD already. I just had to get my hands on this because of the price. Like, I was able to find it at a very, not really cheap price, but for 100 bucks, that's much better than what it is online right now, which I think, like I said, it's going for like 200 bucks. So, Hot Shots 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Steel book. And then from Best Buy, the one new release that came out this week, and I was really looking forward to getting my hands on, and that is Dread, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook, which is um, which is a great movie. The Dread, I was hoping that one day we'd eventually get like a sequel or a TV series, but it's been about ten years now. I don't know if they're gonna ever do one, but this was a really good movie. I remember when this came out, a lot of people didn't get to see this movie, but. I had a really good time watching this movie. It has grown a big cult following over the years. So maybe one day we'll get a movie, a continuation of this. Whether it's a movie or a TV show. So, yeah. Dread on Steelbook. And now on to the Walmart purchase. And like I said yesterday, these are mostly just double dips. So I'm going to go real quick on these. And you pretty much saw what I picked up at that Walmart yesterday. Uh, Coming to America, which was 7 bucks. Like I said, I don't have this on regular Blu-ray. I have it on 4K Steelbook. But I don't have the movie on regular Blu-ray, so... There's that. Another double dip, Knives Out, which is the... Light, which is the special... It's got this special packaging on the front of it. John Wick had a special packaging on it. Uh, I love Knives Out. I have the Steelbook for it. I don't have it on DVD, though, so... I've got the DVD version of it. Although I went to Barnes and Noble today and this was nine bucks on DVD, so I could have bought that too, but this will do just nicely. This was only thirteen. Uh, next up we have the Girls Rule Collection, which has Clueless, Mean Girls, and She's the Man. I honestly don't know if I have Mean Girls on Blu-ray. I know I have Clueless on Blu-ray, and She's the Man just came out on Blu-ray this week. And I think the regular single disc edition is going for like ten bucks, and I figure 20 bucks, you get Mean Girls and Clueless too. Why not? Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters with Godzilla and Kong Skull Island. Getting ready for Godzilla vs. Kong at the end of the month. This was only 13 bucks, so I figured why not get this? Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Kong Skull Island, and Godzilla, which... I guess because Godzilla, King of the Monsters is the most recent movie, that's why they put it on there, but... Yeah, so... I already have these on Blu-ray, but... The DVD sets there. It was the last copy, so why not? And this was also the last copy, too. Last up, we have here the Mad Max collection, which I have on Blu-ray, but I don't have on DVD. So, you got the original Mad Max, Road Warrior, Beyond Thunderdome, and Mad Max Fury Road, which I believe is just the regular theatrically released version. So, for ten, this was only 10 bucks too. So, I've got all four Mad Max movies on DVD. And now we're going into the waterworks stuff that I picked up today. I'll start with the one thing from Barnes & Noble, the one movie I picked up, which I was pleasantly surprised when I saw this because I could have sworn this is out of print. And they had a whole bunch of Shout Factory movies there, and I could have bought a bunch of them, but they were all expensive. But I had to get Dragnet. This is one I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while now. I could have gotten it on Amazon a couple of years ago, but I just, just decided not to. And then I figured I might as well get this now. I was going to get two other ones, Elizabeth Town and Accepted, but I found them cheaper on Amazon, so I'm just going to get them off of there. This only, this is 27 which is actually cheaper than it is on Amazon. It was 27 after my discount, my 10% membership card, so... Dragnet, one of the, the Shout Factory edition. Uh, what do I want to go to next? Let's go to the Marshalls bag. Uh, most of these are just clothes. Uh, start off with the socks here. I got... A pair, some socks from the Mandalorian, Baby Yoda. This one was a dollar ninety nine. And then here's some more Baby Yoda ones. The Child. This one was three ninety nine, as you can tell right up there. the The pricing on these socks were weird. Like they had different ones for like two ninety nine, one ninety nine, and then there was more, the same amount of socks in here for like three ninety nine for some reason. But they were they weren't priced that way. But so those are the Mandalorian socks. I found these and I thought, these may not fit me, but I'm going to give them a try because they look kind of cool. These Looney Tunes St. Patrick's Day boxer briefs. They were only 6 bucks, and I figured, you know what, if it do it's, it'll probably fit me. It might be tight on my my stomach, but, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's kind of... It's, I just like how cool they look. They were, Like I said, only 6 bucks for these. 
there, right there. And I like how it says compared at nine dollars, even though the suggested retail price was sixteen fifty. So that's the stuff I picked up from Marshalls. Some more socks this time from TJ Maxx. They had some Nickelodeon socks which I picked up. They give you like two different designs on this one. This is like a like one of the I don't know I don't off the top of my head right now I don't know what kind of socks these are. These are like smooth, but these go on smoother. But then on the back here you got these different kind of socks here, and these were only five dollars. And then I got a Rick and Morty crew. Crew socks with also a bandana on it. I thought at first that these this was a neck gaiter, like the one I've been wearing during this pandemic, but it's just a bandana, so I would have to tie this around if I ever wanted to wear it. And this was only 4 bucks at TJ Maxx. And last but not least, uh, two things that I found at Walmart last night I didn't pick up, but then when I went to the Walmart there to, at the Waterworks today, I decided, you know what, what the heck, I'm going to pick them up. Uh, first up, we have this Chase Automatic this robot tra object tracking robot like you're supposed to stick this onto your phone and then you're supposed to like connect it to your to an app and then the ca the phone will move around as you're moving around I'll get this to try in the near future but there's the back right there give you kind of an idea of what this can do and this was 1488 there was like a display of like different techno technological th different equipment to use for like these ty this type of stuff they had like like this right here, the other thing I picked up, which is a neck mount. So, like I guess I can use, I could stick this around my neck and use it to, to like walk around and catch footage without me even using my hands. And this was only five dollars. And once again, it came from that same bin, which has like a bunch of like equipment that's very, very affordable. So this was four eighty eight. I think I already said that this was fourteen eighty eight. The moving robot. So um, yeah. That's pretty much everything I picked up. I didn't really pick anything up until I made it to the side that I already had been on. But it was nice to see the entire waterworks this time around. It's easy It's easy walking distance for me. And um, I'd definitely go back up there. Certainly in the near future. Maybe not all the time. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So, like I said, this is why the video was late. I knew I was going to do go out today. So... Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for watching this channel. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button right over here. And then check out a previous episode here. And then I will see you guys next week for another episode. So until then, take care.